faith, just a little bit of faith. You don't need a whole lot. Just use what you've got. Oh, hi. I found this really big balloon. I was going to see how many breaths it would take to blow it up. I was thinking faith, 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 because we're learning about faith today. And I'm going to see if I can use faith to blow it up. How many breaths do you think it will take? Mm. I'm going to try four. One, two, three, four. Okay, that did not work. Mm. Let me see. What else could I do to make it work? Mm. Oh, hey, Maurice. How are you doing? Good. What in the world is that? It is a balloon. I was trying to blow it up. That's the biggest balloon I've ever seen. I know. I was trying to figure out how to blow it up, but I think I have an idea. Here, you hold this in. Step back some. More and more and more. Right there. Okay. Now. Oh, maybe we should sing. Do you maybe think that, that would help? help? Yeah. All right. Faith, faith, faith. Just, just a little bit of faith. You don't need a whole lot. Just use what you got. Faith, 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 just a little bit of faith. Okay, okay, I believe I've got some faith you can do this. Yeah, right. Here we go. Whoa, Whoa that's a lot more Whoa. than what in four breaths. In one breath, you did all that? I Whoa. can't believe it. That's awesome. You know what? We are learning about faith today, and I had faith that you could put some air in this big old huge balloon. And faith is complete confidence and trust in someone or something. And we're going to learn today about someone who had faith. So, but before we find out who that is, we're going to pray. Jesus, thank you. Thank you for this great time that we are having as we are learning to grow in you. And help us today to learn how to grow in our faith in you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Look at each one of these seeds. These seeds, believe it or not, are all going to grow into the same kind of plant. Do you know which kind of plant that they will grow into? They have this one, and these are so small and then these. Do you, can you guess? They're all going to be trees. Can you believe it? It would be easy to think that this seed, as big as it is, would grow to be a tree, but this seed grow to be a tree? Or even these little ones? How can they grow to be a tree? But they can, because this is going to be an avocado tree. This one, did you recognize the seeds? They're apple seeds, so they're gonna grow into be an apple tree. But these little ones here, have you ever heard of a mustard tree? Do you know as little as these seeds are, that when the mustard tree grows, that it grows over 2,000 times the size of its seed? That is amazing. And it's all because of how God created them to be. I wonder if this little seed sings what that Maurice was singing with Laugh and Liz. Faith, 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 just a little bit of faith. But with faith, we can believe when you start out small, even little things that start out small can grow big with faith.
We have been talking today about faith and faith is complete trust or confidence in someone or something. Now in the Bible, in Matthew chapter 17, there was a man who had a very sick son. His son was so sick and he brought him to Jesus with faith, believing that Jesus could heal his son. But the very first people that he encountered was Jesus' disciples. So he asked the disciples, could, could you pray for my son? And then Jesus came. Jesus came walking and, oh, Jesus, can you heal my son? And he told Jesus about how that his son, whenever his spells of sickness would hit, sometimes he'd fall. And wherever he was, maybe it was on water, or maybe it was near a campfire or something, and it, he'd get hurt. And it happened over and over again. Can you heal my son? Now, I'm sure this father had heard of all the miracles that Jesus had done. And he believed you, he can do it for me, too. So Jesus prayed. And guess what? His son was healed. His son was all better. And the father and the child, they went on their way so happy. And then the disciples asked Jesus, well, we prayed and we didn't see the son healed. And do you know how Jesus answered? Jesus told them about the little mustard seed. And you know, like Joyous Julie showed you that teeny little bunny mustard seed. It started out small, but then it grows and it grows. And so how do we go our faith? We continue to pray and ask God. And the more we do, we pray bigger and bigger prayers and our faith grows and he is faithful and he does answer our prayers. We've been learning about growing in God. And today we are learning about growing our faith. And again, faith is complete confidence and trust in someone or something. And do you know, you can believe and trust in God and he is faithful and he will not fail you. You think, well, how do I grow my faith in God? Well, you came to Sunday school today. Keep coming. That grows your faith in God. Keep praying to him. That grows your faith. Read your Bible. That grows your faith. And it gets bigger and you believe him for more and more things from little day-to-day -day things to big things. Now, you know what? Is there anything that you need that you feel like it's a big need, bigger than a mountain? Well, ask Jesus to help in your need today. And he will come close and he will be faithful and help you. Now, I'm going to share with you one of the greatest ways you could grow your faith. Are you ready? Turn your ears up. Okay, here we go. So a way that you can really, really, really grow your faith, you start with repentance. And that's when you say no to sin. You say, Jesus, I'm sorry for all the wrong choices I've done. Because wrong choices, that's what sin is. And when you repent, you say, Jesus, I'm sorry. He forgives you just like that, just that quick. And then the next thing you do is you get baptized in the name of Jesus. You get baptized in water. And when you do that in obedience to him, in Jesus' name, his name being said over you, when you come up, all those sins are completely washed away and your heart is so clean. It's a wonderful feeling. And then all this, you can find it in the Bible, in the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 38, and many other places too, over and over. But it says, after you've repented and been baptized in Jesus' name, you receive the Holy Ghost. That is Jesus coming right on the inside of you. Oh my, that will grow your faith just like from that little mustard seed to that huge tree over 2,000 times the size of that seed. But how that you receive the Holy Ghost is you begin to say words of love to Jesus and thank you, Jesus, and praise words to Jesus. And you just focus on him. And all of a sudden, while you're saying your words, Jesus, I love you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, all of a sudden. 
you begin to speak a love language that only Jesus understands. And it's the greatest feeling in the whole wide world. And then you just keep living for Jesus and grow in your faith. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you. Thank you for all we've learned. Thankful. We are thankful for how wonderful that you are. And help all of us. We all have faith. But wherever our faith is today, whether it's like a little bitty mustard seed or it's in the growing process, help our faith in you to grow, grow, grow. In Jesus' name, amen. Are you ready to learn our memory verse today? Okay. You know, like we talked about having faith like a mustard seed earlier. Well, Jesus also said that we should have faith like a mustard seed in our memory verse. So, you see these. Look at these. These are mustard seeds. Look at how tiny they are. Can you believe that these will grow up into, to be a great big tree? That is cool. Well, our, here's our memory verse. Hmm, where did I put my Bible? Does somebody need a Bible? Thank you. Welcome. Let me find it. Here it is. Our memory verse is Matthew 17, 20. And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say to this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove and nothing shall be impossible unto you. That means when you have faith in God, you can do anything. Not